Me again, Scarlett. I uh, just wanted to give a little update and show you guys what we've been up to. Um, the last few days, I have been cleaning like crazy. Now, it's the end of the season. Obviously, I clean the garden all the time. I'm always weeding, I'm always working out, I'm always doing stuff like that. But it's the end of the season. Things are dying, things are over. You know, I pulled out some of the first tomatoes or some of the tomatoes that were finished that were put in a few months ago. Uh, I pulled them out and replaced them with other things, um, moved things around, split up some stuff. Obviously, I try to keep the garden in tip-top shape at all times. But since we're going into fall and the leaves are falling and everything's getting a little shabby and, and plants are starting to brown up and look a little dead, you know, it just needs an overall trim, I think. Getting all that, that dying stuff out and out of the way and making for new stuff. Okay, this behind me is exactly what I'm talking about. You can see here, this thing it is totally dying. See that? Oh, look at this. It's falling apart. It's done. So he's gonna have to come down. I've still got a few pumpkins on there. Can you guys see those pumpkins? Everybody keeps telling me they look like lanterns. <laughs> They're pretty cool. I do want to take them down. I want to eat them soon. Um, I've actually tried a few recipes with pumpkins that I just, I love. Well, squash. They're more of a squash than a pumpkin. They're like the small version. But I just love pumpkin squash and all that good stuff. So that needs to come down too. I haven't done that yet. But, you know, I wanted to show you guys what we've been up to. So, um, a lot of things are finished. And a lot of things are coming new. So we'll do a quick walk through the garden. And you know, nothing interesting, just a quick little video to give you an idea. All right, so over here, these tomatoes are also almost completely gone. Um, down here, uh, we've got more tomatoes. This is, uh, this is for bird food. It's a really good idea if you put a bird feeder really close to your tomatoes, because they'll take care of a lot of the bugs that you don't want on your tomatoes. So these tomatoes, they're looking really, really good. Let's see if I get you guys a better angle. Uh, they're looking really good, but um, by really good, I'm referring to the tomatoes are looking really good. The, uh, the leaves are completely done. And a few days, let's say two, three days ago, I took out the tomatoes on the other side. Um, right, that was a huge job. Yesterday, I mulched it up and made a big mulchy mess. So this is the mulcher, of course. We brought it home. Really is the best place to have it. Um, and these are mulched tomatoes. So I pulled the tomatoes out of the bed and I mulched them up. Now I didn't mulch all of them because it was a really big job and I got a little tired of it and decided I'd put the rest in the compost pile and maybe tackle it later. But it's really not that hard. The, the, uh, the mulcher will take the tomatoes, especially if you let them dry just a little bit. Here I haven't done that, but you can see, you know, it's, it's really good. Now that's going to help with the decomposing because it's already broken down. It also helps with the amount of space it takes up. It's going to be easier to get it hot or to get it nice and wet to keep it. In general, it's going to take up less space, which is a big deal in this garden because I have such a tiny garden that if I have anything that takes up too much space, you know, it just, well, I, I run out of space. It doesn't work. So I'll show you where my compost is too. So our new trees are doing lovely. And I have to give you guys the episode on the trees. Uh, okay, so this little house behind me, this is the chicken coop. And you can see it's got a little yard. It's like... It's really like a little fairy tale house, especially when it, next year when it's all covered in ivy, it's going to be really, really cute. So it's got this little yard here in the front, and what we do is we allow the chickens, obviously it's their yard, so they play in it, but we like to add the compost to that yard so that the chickens have something to scratch and work with. But way down on the bottom, it looks a little bit more like this. So these are twigs and grass and leaves and, of course, the tomatoes, and it's all just beautifully broken up into little pieces and then it goes into the pile. It means that it takes up less space and it just works lovely. I know I've said this before guys but I highly recommend getting a mulcher if you want to compost and you don't have a lot of space. So my potting table back here is still going strong. I've got a few things up there. I still have the roses. Um, we're propagating the roses. I will put that video up soon. Um, and if you guys aren't aware, if you are looking to propagate roses, this is the good time to do it. So go out and start clipping your roses and put them in water for now. And I will show you as soon as I'm ready um, what they're going to look like. I'm trying to wait until I have some roses to show you the befores and the after. But there's some, um, there's a whole bunch in some of these pots over here that are, that are currently developing. Let's see. Um, you've seen the green, the gardening thing. That doesn't matter. Okay, so behind me here, this is where I took out the tomatoes. And I have decided that next year I will not be planting beefsteaks here. In fact, already I've replaced it with raspberries. See, there's a nice big raspberry plant here. And then there are a few more blueberries behind me. And I'm going to put a whole bunch of raspberries and blueberries in here. 
in the back and then flowers in the front and then some herbs because the herbs do go really well. So the road I live on is actually called Lindenstrasse and this is because there are so many linden trees on this street. Now don't worry I'm not actually giving my address away because in Germany there's probably thousands of Lindenstrasse. I mean thousands. There's even companies named Lindenstrasse. They're, they're Lindenstrasse. But regardless, there are linden trees here and they're huge. They're insanely huge trees. So these trees are shading this garden. They're really shading it. And so I only get about six hours in this bed because of the trees and because of the hedge, but the rest of the garden gets full sun. So that means from eight to 10 to 12 hours, depending on the season. So that means we've decided no more tomatoes for the bed behind me because it just didn't do as well as I really wanted it to. Did produce a lot of tomatoes, don't get me wrong. Um, it was a little hard to, to get to, so I won't be doing that. But I'm really not sure where I'm going to do it, because everything, of course, every year, I like to change it all up. So I'm moving tomatoes from here to there, and all the plants will go everywhere. Uh, I think I'll put more dahlias in behind me, because that's... Oh, I just love the dahlias, and I really like watching them. So my bedroom, <laughs> if you wonder where my bedroom is, these windows above me, that's my bedroom. And that means that the view from my bedroom is the garden and the fields behind me across the street. So let me turn around and show you that. See these beautiful fields? So that's the view from my bedroom, this whole area. And that means that I really want to have more uh, beautiful flowers here in this bed that I can sit up there and have my morning coffee, which I do every single morning, and enjoy the view of the garden. So the weather is really good. Let's see, it's about mid-September. We're actually past middle of September. Ah. Um, and I'm doing tons of cleanup because we have a big party going on this weekend. Um, but a lot of things are still doing really, really well. I did want to show you guys this. Remember a few days ago we did the garlic, planting garlic in a little pot that you can put a window? This is perfect. Now, it's been sitting outside here on my grow table. So this is where I like to harden things off or get my little seedlings going. It's got a little more protection. The walls will heat up and get really warm and then that will help the plants stay nice and warm at night. So I don't have to put anything over them yet and we aren't, we haven't gotten any frost. It doesn't look like we're gonna get any frost for a little while. But, so this has been outside for a while, but look at how big it is. Ah, it's getting really, really nice. So at this point I could totally take it inside and, or if you had an apartment, you know, we're only talking a few days later, um, you could start clipping them and using them in your salads and soups and dressings and whatever you want. I mean, there you go. Garlic in a pot, huh? The corn's coming along lovely. It's still pretty tiny. It's definitely not big enough, but it's been hardened off so I will have to put that into the garden soon uh, because I want it to get growing and right now there's absolutely no food. It's just perlite and water and I just wanted to harden off for a few days. So, um, my fig tree, I still haven't potted that. That is here. I still haven't potted up my fig tree. I know I've been talking about doing it for a while. Um, I want to get into a pot. I still have run out of dirt. I'm waiting for my compost and I have to get some more dirt. So I gotta pot this up. But I want to make a video because I will show you guys how to pot it, how to prepare it, how to protect it, and how to propagate it. So that's it for today. I just want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on. And I am also going to start tackling tomato problems. So this will be a few videos where I'm going to take some time and talk about tomato problems. And I'll keep it short so different problems for different days. Um, but be aware that is coming and I, I hope that you guys enjoy it. And on a completely different note, I keep getting a lot of questions. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to give you guys a, a better way of contacting me. I'm going to give you my email address. And then you guys can send me your questions, your comments, your thoughts, your pictures, whatever you want to send me. Um, I would really like that because I actually want to use your images in my show. So if you guys want to say like you've got problems or you want to show me your garden, I'd like to show them off. I'd like to show your pictures. Um, I'd like to give some shout outs and find out what's going on. So send me your comments and send me your pictures and we will include them in a let's chat episode coming up. So I've got a few of them planned. I want to do a few what's up and uh, and sit down and a few more chats because I think that was really good. It seemed like you guys liked that a lot. Do tell me if that's the case. Um, and so we'll be tackling some of your problems if you send me questions or you know whatever you want just send it away and I will read it I will respond and depending on how many I get I'd love to feature some in a show about your comments and questions so that's all for today I'm Scarlett thanks so much for watching viewers like you make this possible and I just love doing this for you guys and I will see you tomorrow Toodaloo.